What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to be covering how to tell how much a Shopify store is making. So in kind of roundabout ways here and different strategies we're going to go over and tools in this video to cover how you can find that out. So you can kind of spy on your competitors here and see how profitable and how much revenue different Shopify stores are generating. Make sure you stay until the end of the video here. Before I dive into it, I just wanna quickly thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's gonna allow you to skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your business. It also comes with a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. And I'm also gonna show a quick video detailing all their features here. Discover ProfitCalc the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. So if you don't wanna use any tools and you're okay with spending a little bit of money on a competitor to see how much order volume and revenue they're generating, this is a neat little strategy here where you're simply just gonna buy the cheapest product on the first of the month. You're gonna get an order number ID along with that order. And then 30 days later, you're gonna buy that same cheap product. Then you're gonna get a different order number. And the difference between the two is gonna be the order volume. You can estimate it using an average order value multiplying by the number of orders. So it's gonna give a total revenue estimation along with an order volume estimation. So you can get a better idea of what this Shopify store is actually using without any tools here. This is gonna be because Shopify assigns sequential order numbers to orders. So doing though or this will tell you how many items were purchased throughout the month. Now you can do this for multiple months as well if you wanna get an overall view as different months are going to be more profitable for different Shopify stores. Now let's dive into some tools here as this can make things a little easier. Now for these tools, I haven't personally used all of them, so make sure you test and look up any hiccups along the way with using this as I can't vouch for all these tools here or any of these methods fully, but just a little bit of disclaimer here. So let's go into the first one and that's going to be Qual Inspector. This is going to be a great one for dropshippers as it's many times when you're looking into different Shopify stores, spying on them to see how well they're doing. A lot of times it's for drop shipping as you want to see which products are doing well for them because you can simply source the same product unless there's some type of trademark or patent on that. There's going to be different pricing options for this tool. On the free plan, you're going to see shop structure, product statistics, you can view newest products, best sellers, along with being able to export some of them there as well. And as you go up in pricing, you're simply going to be able to track more shops and export more information here depending on how much you want to pay. Overall, it's pretty popular here with around 72,000 downloads and 95,000 weekly product reveals. And so if you're a dropshipper here, it's going to allow you to find more winning products. And overall, it's been promoted by some bigger YouTubes here as well. As you can see, the Ecom King, Learn with Shopify, and Bit Branding as well, all promoting Koala apps here. If you're looking for a more advanced tool and you're not just a dropshipper here, a tool that's been really popular is called SimilarWeb. It's going to allow you to analyze different websites, getting certain statistics on where their traffic is coming from. So you can get an estimation of maybe how many they're converting. You can do reverse traffic analysis here. So let's search up a website here. It's called Partake Foods. They sell a lot of cookies. And so you get different statistics, just how much estimated revenue they're doing, their global rank, country rank, average duration, where they rank on different search results, where their traffic is coming from, audience demographics, audience interests, along with competitors and similar sites here. So it's gonna lead you down a little bit of a rabbit hole on tracking your competitors. But overall, if you were trying to create an ad set and you're trying to target a similar audience, using this would be super useful as you could see things and target the countries as well as the gender distribution and age here to get a more targeted audience. You're also getting an estimated annual revenue, which is exactly what we're looking for in this video. This is probably gonna work a little better for larger stores here, where it's much more traffic, but being able to get this information is pretty invaluable when you're trying to find out how much a Shopify store is really making. In other ways to estimate how much a Shopify store is making is to use the Facebook ad library. And so this is a comprehensive database to provide transparency in searchable collections for all the ads currently running across meta technologies. Now, as a Shopify store owner, you probably know that Facebook is one of the biggest traffic sources to generate revenue. So you're seeing almost every e-commerce store out there use some form of Facebook ads. Maybe that's through Instagram or their audience network, or it's through Facebook themselves. Most stores are using this and most stores generate a ton of revenue from it. What you can do is you can go to the ad library here, select the country, the category, and then search for your competitors here. And you can see which ads have run and which ads have done really well. So this can give you an idea of how much they're spending on Facebook. 
Because if it's just a paid ad here, depending on how much traffic and how many likes and comments it's generating, you can get an idea of how much they're spending on their Facebook ads. And this will give you an approximate reverse calculation on how much revenue they're generating from Facebook here. So this is a bit more a manual way, a lot of guesswork here, but it's gonna give you an idea even on their best selling products, as most sites will just run a one product ad leading back to the product page. So if this one is doing really well, you know they've nailed their targeting and their ad spend as no Shopify store here is gonna spend money on ads that are not working. So this is more of an alternative way here to estimate how much a Shopify store is making. So overall, this concludes the video on how much is a Shopify store making. We brought in several methods on how to estimate a store's revenue. Now there are probably more tools out there let me know in the comments if you know of any additional ones that you thought that should have been included in this video. If you like this video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment as well. Lastly, I'm going to mention ProfitCalc, our sponsor, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store with a 15-day free trial. There's going to be a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.